Hey everybody, Kersey is here. Welcome back to Domina. The basically, this is just a gladiator simulator game. I played this last year and I kind of left it where it was because there weren't a lot of classes and there weren't and there was a lot of bugs in the game. So I decided just to leave it alone because it's actually a very fun game. This is actually very fun. But the biggest problem was is that the game would always uh, crash on startup uh, just or it would crash mid game, whatever. Uh, it seems like to me a lot of the crashes have been taken care of, but it's been a year, over a year now, since I last played. I played this in February of last year, and unfortunately, the developer has not put in any new classes. Everything is still in beta, which really sucks because, like, if you just watch, and I really just bid you to watch this because they really have like like the chaotic nature of a like gladiator games down. So while everybody trains here, we have the next actual battle in nine days, but we have a pit fight we can get. Let's buy all the water and let's go to a pit fight. Okay, we got it. This is a freebie win. This is really easy. Hopefully it has good money. Okay, decent money. And I get some water. Water is kind of one of your, your uh, focal point uh, resources. So one gladiator, all right. <clears throat> I think we'll take this guy because he needs uh, his stats up. And we're good. Yeah, he's oh, he's a Marmillo though. I mean, he's not he's not dual wielding at all or anything. That's fine. <laughs> and there you go. Boom. I love the, the like the people in the crowd just saying random stuff. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we're over capacity and I don't need a slave, so let's get rid of him. Uh, this guy is eh, he's kind of bleh. I just want the money anyway. And let's see, I have the best possible trainers. Uh, what else do I want? Dual Cobra. No, defense over train. Probably just uh. Yeah, more, more, more learn, more ability for them to learn and level up. And anyways, and to at the end of the 240 days here, you get to a championship, which you have to qualify for by beating three champion gladiators around the uh, map here. Uh, how many do I have? Two. Okay. So we use these two guys. My my strongest Mermillo and uh, my probably one of my strongest strikes. Three, two, one, go get him. Hmm. And he's dead. Uh, favor boost cards. Okay. I really don't need, I don't need you. And I don't need you. But what I could do, though, is take my architect here and expand the training area more. Did I ever expand the employee area? I think I did. Because I could use the Medicus Emeritus. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Now I did not expand the employee area. That's fine. Whatever. I keep on expanding my training items. The, when you build like the the palace and the coals and rocks and stuff, it helps to speed up training. No pet fights by the wine. And the two people down here, this is you right here. And this is the legate of the area. You can send him wine as a little thing. This is the magistrate. You can send him wine. You can have both of them. Um, take up a uh, patronage of a, a gladiator, which means that they'll pick one of your random gladiators and they will provide the food and water for them uh, until they die. And if you have a secret or anything that you could sell or blackmail over, you can do that too. Like if you blackmail, you get money uh, and you lose uh, his temperament. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but he also... 
didn't like that, so I kind of gave him stuff. But if you, but it's more better just to sell secrets for a little bit of money to the other one, because they, the magistrate and the like, hate each other naturally. Oh, and here we go, we got another one. Uh, do I really want to do this? They're both Thrakes's. Why don't I try with this Retarius and this? Oh, I only get one. That means I really don't want to do this then. No, that's okay. Yeah, shut up. Anyways, uh, let's see. Most employee upgrade coin costs are down. Yeah, that'd be you. And what else? Uh, boost favor. Yep, we'll just put that on you. And give him some more wine. There you go. I hope you're happy. What are you doing? Oh, you need to be strength training. Uh, deserter from the Roman areas. Find stealing grain from your storehouse. Hmm. Bring him to the legate. There we go. And we need to expand the employee area. It's going to cost a lot of money, but it means I can hire another employee up here. Anyways, well, let me explain the, uh, the statistics here. Agility increases move speed. Weapon increases damage. Defense increases the base absorption of, uh, basically of weapons and, uh, of weapons and armor. Strength increases maximum HP, attack damage, and defense resilience, whatever that means. And meditate increases their AI functionality so that the AI just doesn't sit around and derp during a fight, basically. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, okay, you're good. Is anybody just standing around? Nope. And one thing you want to do here with the original Doctor you have, make sure to go down here to the bottom right and enable automatic gladiator training. So that way they will automatically train based on what you want them to train. Uh, so you here, architect, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, you, ooh. Well, um, I think I can probably put you here. Oh, I had another space. Okay, cool. I was going to say, because I, I have them, um, uh, I have them organized here. All the Mermillos are up top, the Thrakeses are in the middle, and all the... What are these guys? Retariuses are on the bottom. And all the Overflow guys are down here. And let's go to a pit fight. Whoa, this is a big one. Is it worth a lot of money, though? Kinda. Let's see here. One, two, two unarmed. Three, three unarmed... Three unarmed. So that is. Hmm. I think we can do this. Let's do it. This is a biggie. Your father was your mother. <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> And we rolled right through it. I love this game. Whew. Divine Vision. Don't know what that is. Nope, nope, nope. You are the newbie. I don't want... So we'll just grant freedom. So that it increases the morale of everybody. But what was that Divine Vision... Recipient morale never falls below neutral. I like that. Um, yeah, we'll put that on you, I guess. And all these cards you collect uh, basically just buff up your guys. Like weapon loss, 50% less. Gladiator heals automatically even during training. I like that. We'll put that on you. Neutralized bleed damage done by an opponent. We can put that on you. Recipient morale never falls. Lingering damage to an opponent. We'll... Leave that on there. Attacks are executed 50% faster. 
Knockback is reduced. We can put that on these. Does not require food or water. I'll take that. Just put it on whoever. Reduce knockback damage. Gladiator rolls faster. Lingering damage. We'll put that on there. Weapon training is 500% faster. We can put that on somebody. Just because. Uh, coin costs. Uh, I don't think... No, I don't have uh, anybody could take that. So... Let's keep buying water and wine. Because you need wine to send as a gift to the Magistrate and the Legate. Uh, what else? Oh, that's right. We need to kind of do one more of these. I can use three gladiators. He's got 1,500 hit points. Woo! Let's use a Rotarius, and we'll be good. The Rotarius are actually pretty good because they throw a, a net that stalls the enemy. Woo! You're really bad at throwing those nets. You get coin for winning, and crowd favor is basically just how much money the people threw into the crowd at the end of the fight. Alright, these guys, I don't need any of them. Give him freedom, and then you, your garbage, I'll just sell you too. Oh, what kind of uh, fight do we got here? I like 1100 gold. And most of the guys look unarmed. This uh, might just be like a, a purposeful uh, 15. Okay, so just put everybody I can in. There we go. What kind of weapon do you have? You have a weapon. All right, let's go. I think they are. Yep, they're chained up. This is just a slaughter. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Free money. Free money. Actually, you know what? This, uh, this game actually would be good for making shorts. Hmm. I just thought about that because the fights are really, really, like, they could just go, you know? Hmm. Anyway, um... Did we expand? Uh, no, he's still expanding the employee area. And we don't need to do any of that because we only needed to win three to go to the championship. You and you. What about you? What are you doing? Wait, you're a Marmella. What are you doing down here? You need to be up here. And you can upgrade their equipment. For money... You can just completely deck somebody out. Boom, this guy's decked. Oh, he, now he's decked out. Oh, yeah. And what about you? What are you? Uh, you're actually, you got good stats. Uh, I want your meditation all the way up. Oh, what do we got? Uh, restitution, wait. Yeah, offer to pay, whatever. I don't need any trouble. What about you? What about you? Yeah, you know, we can we can get rid of you, which will put that Thrakes in here. This guy was actually pretty good stats, so I'm just gonna load up some. Uh, Load up some equipment. There we go. That way he's decently armed. Do we have a pit fight? No. Well, hurry up and expand that. All right, what else we got going here? Oh, another pit fight. Awesome. This guy... Has 18 victories and he's a Rotarius. I get three gladiators though. I think I'll go for it. <laughs> I love the crowd.
That was easy. Mr. Polybius, sir, you got good stats. I think you're you're what? You're a Thrax? Uh, we can yeah, you know you have crappy stats anyway. I'm gonna get rid of you and put him in there. So now we have a full line of good Thraxes. Oh by the way, that's right, uh, the other stats I forgot to mention. They have stats of aggro, turtle, evasiveness. Basically, this is the AI. Uh, if they have low aggro, it means they're less likely to just try to get in on the opponent. Turtle means they are less likely to block when attacked. Evasiveness means they are more likely to roll away from their opponents when they're attacked. And stamina is just a oh, different stuff put together. That's their, you know, stamina for running and rolling. Uh, max stamina up 50%. We can do that. I like the music in this game, too. It's actually not bad. Do, 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 do. Keep on making paylesses. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm going to add to that 11 days for the next pet fight. And we got a next a battle coming up. You can also go to the Legate and you can actually arrange exhibition matches, which don't kill your gladiators, but will hurt them. And it will increase the temperament uh, with the uh, Legate or the Magistrate. So actually, like, after this battle here, I'll show you how that works. Because I don't want to go into a, a battle coming up and not have anything ready. I could get a slave or some food. No. A card. No. 1,300 gold for killing a Rotarius. Uh, I like it. How about this Mermello? He'll work. All right, kill him. Do it, Anakin. Kill him. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> Woo! All right, you can go. But anyway, it's okay. So setting up a uh, exhibition match. So so you can set up like one gladiator versus one gladiator, and then they can go. Boom, there you go. A good time had by all, except for the guy who got his ass kicked. And you get some crowd favor money and some host temperament. But, um, by chance, a oh, venter is accidentally delivered a cask. Oh, okay, yeah, give it to the magistrate. There you go. Anyway, so, anyways, like I said, though, your guy gets damaged. Oh, you need to start just training, uh, train defense for now. You are good. Train your strength. But your guys get damaged. And so you got to heal them. There they are. Okay. So they'll stand there and get healed for now. But I need a better uh, Medicus. Which is why I was having him expand the... Uh, yeah, the Emeritus Medic Medicus. Emeritus... Anyways, heal up to two minute once. Yep, thank you. So now that I have a better Medicus, yeah, my guys will heal a lot faster in between events and battles. And, but you know what though? That is pretty much it though. Like I said, this game is still in development. It's, it's early access on Steam. It's fun. It's really fun. Like really... Um, just straight out, like, fast-paced combat, visceral. And with the, the pixelated style, I, I really prefer it. So, but like I said, you know, this was just something I wanted to get back to and see what it was like. But sadly, the developer hasn't added any new classes. 
Makes me sad. I actually would have expected to see a new class after a year. At the very least, I understand it's early access, so whatever. Uh, still give this developer time, but like I said, maybe I could actually use this game to make shorts. Just because the combat is so fast and visceral that it's entertaining to watch, right? Anyways, though, that is all the time I have for right now. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, punch the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!